speak on this book. I was, and speaking meant that I had to read the book. Uh, I must thank Sapna because uh, although you might feel I am, I have become absolutely literate, but that is what happens when you are into activism and you are working round the clock, you stop reading. And in the uh, times of social media, uh, frankly I had not read for a very long time. Just before this I read Sohali's book and then your book, after many, many years. Uh, I want to congratulate again uh, Sapna for writing this book because this requires a heart to write this book, this requires sensitivity and this requires a very deep understanding of the psyche of people. Um, I was moved many times while reading the book because it is very close to me. Sapna knows about it. I have a, I have a, uh, in my own family, my, my daughter went through uh, years of depression and the whole, I mean, I can many times reading about Spencer and what's happening, I could identify my own story there, uh, running to psychiatrists, dealing with therapy and, and a lot of other things. But I did not identify this only with the problems and the challenges that my daughter was facing and the whole journey which we took and we have still been taking that. We are still uh, nowhere near a position where we say that everything is fine. But I also identified my own self with it. When you read it, you realize that there are so many things which in your life you want to push them away because you are either busy or you think it is not important and you want to just bury them under a lot of things so that they don't trouble you any longer. But uh, quoting from uh, Sapna, though I think she has written it in another context, but I uh, just one thing which I want to read is, you can always fill a dark room with light just by lighting a candle. Does that mean that the opposite phenomena has happened? And then you can simply return to darkness by blowing off the candle. Do you realize that darkness was always there? And what this means to me is that uh, there are a lot of times, whether they are in our personal lives, whether what we are doing uh, around us, especially, I mean, just before coming here, I was in an exhibition and I was discussing that, that, you know, one is working round the clock and it looks that we are doing something, but it is not making any difference in the, in the, in the life of the country. And there is this frustration of where to go, where, you know, what to do. And this happens uh, all the time. It is not that only in our personal lives we are faced with questions which are, we are unable to deal with. But uh, in our social lives, in our political lives, we are constantly looking at these things and, don't, and unable to uh, reach where we want to or unable to find solutions. Um, I think this book is very important for one for every citizen to just read and uh, realize about one's own self. It deals with a lot of questions. It is, of course, a story of Spencer and the, the, the counselor Jack, and then later she meets, uh, finds a boy, finds love finally, and uh, all that. But more than that, it is, it is dealing also with the questions of how we deal uh, with our children. What are we doing to the next generation, especially in India with this competition all around, the way parents are pushing their own thinking on what the child should do or what the child should not do. And the repercussions which it has much later. Because Spencer's story starts not after she is married to a man whom she loved, but he was extremely dominating, like a very, I mean, which a lot of people can relate to in, in India's situation. And, uh, highly patriarchal, feudal uh, set, uh, you know, uh, structure of our families, most of them. But her problems start much earlier when she is wanting to do something else and uh, by parents a certain kind of direction is pushed on her. And this happens to um, almost 90% of the people, probably more in our country because there are hardly any homes which are democratic, which give that space to the children to do what they want in their life. So this is dealing, This it's a very multi-layered book uh, which has emotions, which has uh, questions dealing with uh, the upbringing of children and personal search 
of where the actual problem lies because unless you are able to uh, deal with your own self even in this in this relationship where the husband is overpowering but you have also given in to his being the fact that he is forcing you to act in a, in in a in a certain way the question here is that is he or only responsible or are you also giving in i constantly tell this to i get a lot of domestic violence cases and i always raise this that the first time when you compromise on a thing it could be just putting a chunni on your head and you don't want to the moment you compromise on one thing <coughs> there the story of compromises start so it is a journey of the woman looking at her own self of course she realizes it when she's already reached a position when she's no longer under her own control and she is having breakdowns and she needs a uh, professional help and that brings me to probably the last point that in our society mental health is a bad word we uh, even educated families even families who call themselves progressives uh, and i'm saying this because after uh, the problem started with my daughter and i talked about it openly about her depressions breakdowns psychiatrist a lot of my friends whom i know for 10 years for 15 years they started coming to me that we have the same problem can you guide us who is a good counselor and they were they never talked about it because this is a taboo to talk about it there is a need to open up to talk about uh, whether it's simple depression whether it's more complicated whether it is mental health mental problem it is very important in our society to talk about it because when you talk about it you encourage those who are suffering to access professional help and professional help is very very necessary and i think that this book is going to encourage a lot of people to explore their own selves ex explore their uh, mental makeup and if required reach out to counselors the only thing which i um, because i am a i am a hardcore atheist which i can't relate to it the constant reference to the soul and god when whether you whether you read it if you are spiritual you read it from that frame of mind i read it uh, from the frame of mind of an activist who was an atheist but i found this book extremely engaging and very very emotional in parts i usually don't cry but it brought tears to my eyes many times thank you very much